Believe it or not, there is a new Forza game out there right now. It's available to play right now. It's fully released and nobody really knows about it. So I'm going to tell you all about it right now. You may remember a few years ago, there was a game called Forza Street. Now it was okay as far as a mobile Forza game goes. You did actually get to race cars and it had the Forza branding all over it. It was a Forza mobile game. I think it was released for about three years and the support kind of died of death from then and the game was sort of discontinued um, not that long ago. So I don't know if that really did well behind the scenes in their eyes, but it's not really around anymore. Now, I believe this new Forza game that's already out is sort of their second attempt to see how a Forza style mobile game would, would go, really. A little bit of backstory on it. Now, a few months ago on June the 16th, it was announced that Forza maker Turn 10 Studios and Hutch Games team up to create a new standalone mobile game. And it was said that this game would focus heavily on car customization and automotive culture, but more so on the customization aspect of cars, which sounded really cool. Now, it turns out back then, which is around June this year, there was a game out there that was called Custom Car Works. And Custom Car Works was a sort of candy crush, I suppose you could say, type style game where you sort of move the tiles about and unlock points that give you credits and you could spend these credits on customizing a car. Now, it's quite in-depth customization, but we'll touch more on that later on. And this game was available in June 2023, around when the Forza and Hutch Studios collaboration announcement came out. Well, fast forward to just the past couple of weeks, it was announced that Forza Customs, the new Forza game, gets a soft launch on Android and iOS in select regions. And it turns out it's pretty much the exact same game as Custom Car Works, or at least the same game just renamed if you find this video helpful and intriguing make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future now forza customs not to be confused with forza customs the car body shop in illinois forza customs is a game i seem to be seeing information that it is soft launch in the philippines australia and the netherlands on android and ios it's not doesn't seem to be available in the uk because i can't play it or the us even but it does seem this is the game that Hutch Games was developing with their collaboration with Turn 10 Studios, which is weird because the collaboration announcement came out like a week before Custom Car Works was a thing. So it was kind of already a thing. It kind of already existed. It's only recently been renamed to Forza Customs. Hutch Games have developed a load of other games. This isn't their only game. They have Top Drive Cars, they have F1 Clash, Rebel Racing. You can see that there's quite a few car-related games that they have. That seems to be what they specialize in. Now, how much input Turn 10 Studios had on this game, I'm not sure because they must have been working with each other way before the announcement because the game was released like right after it. So it's a little bit of a weird one. I'm not really sure what I think of it. As I said, they haven't really made any announcements of it, which I kind of see as a good thing. They're not making a big deal out of it. They're not pushing people to go play this new greatest Forza game but it is a Forza game at the end of the day. Now, let's have a look at the game itself. Now, as I said, I've not played this game myself. Um, I can't get it. So I've managed to find screen grabs online from a few YouTube videos and Google searches to grasp how this game actually works. Now, some details about the game. It brings an amazing lineup of numerous vehicles, including classic cars, modern vehicles, high performance track cars, and much more. The Volkswagen Type 2 Deluxe is available in the game. 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo S is available. And I know a few other cars such as the Ford Mustang GT and the Volkswagen Beetle are in the game as well. Now there are various game modes and car themed puzzles. It is offline only and there is absolutely no driving, no racing at all in the game whatsoever. It is just Candy Crush type style fun mini games and car customization based on the rewards you get from the Candy Crush. So let's roll through how the game works so we can see if you guys have a wanna bash at it really. It seems like the first car you get given is the Ford Mustang GT, and then you get given some sort of wheel spin style selection system where it will select a type of car that you want to convert your Mustang GT into. It could be a drag, it could be any of these you see on screen. In this case, 
it got drift. So the aim of the game is then to convert your Mustang GT into a drift Mustang GT. So it takes you to your car, you get your own little garage, and there's a lot of customization in this game. You'll see more of it as the video goes on, but there is actually quite a lot of in-depth customization. You can change the bumpers, the fenders, wide body. You can add um, different bonnets, different rear bumpers, different exhaust, different spoilers. You can obviously paint all of it. You can have it carbon. You can have it custom rims. You can add stickers. You can change the interior, add roll cages in there. You can change the seats, change the color of the seats. So you can really transform a car if you put the upgrades and time into it. And it seems that the way you upgrade these cars and get the credits is by playing that Candy Crush style game. As you can see here, we've got the Candy Crush style game and we've got the little uh, icons on the left. So five red, um, you can see the numbers and the, the aim of the game is to get that many of each color and that will sort of complete the level and you'll get some credits which you can then spend on the car customization. It is quite difficult to explain without actually playing it right in front of you, but that is the basics of it. You will continuously get credits, spend them, paint something, add an upgrade to your Mustang, and then be forced back into the mini game again where you'll get more credits, more points. You'll see that some of them are a little bit different. You might have gears as one of the sort of icons that you've got to collect. It's a weird one. I think if you're just not really into customization and you just like racing and driving, this isn't going to appeal to you. But if you just like chilling out, having a bit of relaxing mobile games and you want to customize a car, be a bit creative, it might not be too bad. It's something different. It's a free game at the end of the day. I'm pretty sure it's free anyway. I think the main selling point is the amount of customization that there is. There's a few things I missed earlier. You can change the tail lights, which isn't something you can do in Horizon or Motorsport, the headlights, the exhaust color. So there is a lot, you know, it's more in depth than Motorsport and Horizon, but at the end of the day, it's a mobile game. So I would hope that it's more in depth. And the selection of vehicles is a little bit lacking. I believe at the moment there is the Volkswagen Deluxe, the Volkswagen Beetle, the Mustang GT. There is a Porsche 911 Carrera RS, I think as well. There are not hundreds of cars like there are in other Forza games, so... It's, it seems like they put a lot of effort into one car. That's why there's so many options for that one car, because there's not many cars full stop in the game. So it's something a little bit different, I suppose. It does say that there will be updates for the game, regular content updates. That probably means new cars. I don't really see what else it would be, because there's nothing else to add. And they haven't announced it yet, so they're not making a big deal out of it. It may have a lot of work to come from now. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I might give it a try if it reaches the UK. Let me know if you play it. I want to know what you guys think, and I'll see you all later.